The Giganto Raptor has arrived to Ark. And whilst it may not be on the map it was meant to be, it's still here. It's still a creature. So let's find out what it's all about. You're right, kids. It's Ross Clark. And welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been on this map. Back on the island on the home hub world. Where? Ignore these. <laughs> They might be for another video that I've been working on for a long time. You might guess what that is. But there's a thing, yes, on the map, a Giganto Raptor, which sadly isn't on the right map. But I want to find out what this is all about, what it looks like, what it does. So can we find it? Let's see if it spawns anywhere on the map. Gigano. Giggity. Where do we think it spawns? And where there's a way, there's a will. And where there's foliage, there is not. <laughs> there is no. Oh, and it went away again. <laughs> Jeez. Weird that it's a mod rather than added to the map. Maybe that's because wildcards want to make sure this thing doesn't remain on the island. And comes to centre when centre arrives. But is there nests is the question. Right now... No. Oh, there it is. No, do one. Oh, there's a nest and gun. Surrounded by raptors. With a nest. But no egg in there. Oh, well, there's a baby there. There's the adult. It's uh, smaller than I thought. I, th I thought this would be a little bit bigger. Like an alarm, oh my god. Alright. Question is, do I kill it? Probably not. But it's got some heavy footsteps. Good grief. Are you bit oh my god. Oh, it's aggressive. Don't come near my baby, it said. It's almost got like antenna-like sprouts coming out of its head i like the look of this thing okay it does have the heart icon which makes me think can i just kill this and claim its baby imprint what's the imprint imprint on baby giganto raptor how do I imprint I do? How do I make the imprint, man? Have I just messed this up royally? I, I think I might have. Oh, God, I got a gun. Hide in, Giga Hide in Giganto Raptor Nest? What the hell? What, why would I want to hide in the nest? I don't. You want to come to me? <laughs> you want to come? I'm, I'm just, um, I'm a little warm bush. Come. Sit on me. Maybe I'm meant to sit in the nest before the Giganto Raptor comes along. So... I don't think I was meant to kill it. The mama. I think I've ruined my chances by killing the, the parents. I have to distract it with something. And seeing that this thing surrounds raising creatures, it would make sense to distract it with an egg. So interestingly, the baby is still on the map where normally baby creatures, once you kill their parent, they go away, they disappear, never to be seen again. And you've lost your opportunity to claim said baby. But this baby is still here, which makes me wonder, is me killing the parent a way to tame it? I get a feeling it's not, but maybe it is. But either way, I've got eggs. I've got eggs. Oh. And it just disappeared as soon as I got here. Well, that's great. That's not a tree I can punch. Which means maybe there is specific nests like this in locations where the Gigantoraptor will be. And they will always spawn here. Or maybe they won't. And let's see if we can distract it. Let's get a Giga Egg and a Bronto Egg. And let's see what happens, right? So we'll throw these down in range 
Not too far away. Kill that. It's eating the eggs. It just ate the Bronto egg. All right, does that give me enough time to hide in the nest? Okay, so I'm hiding in the nest now. The baby's just come over. And... What the hell? I spin. What was that? Spin. There's a lot of dirty raptors about as well, which is real concern right now. Okay, so it's coming back over again. That raptor is a bit of an issue. Okay, okay, okay. Right, it does a jump. Uh, 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 flap. Well, that's no good! Flipping egg! Okay, looks like it's looking at the egg again. It's definitely looking at it. It looks like it's... I don't... Should I land? Okay, I think it's chilled out now. Okay, right, we're in the nest. We're hiding in the nest. Here we go. Okay, so there's some weird mini game we've got to play here. It looks like it's eating the fertilized Bronto egg. Yeah, yeah. Right, here's you. Right. Okay, so it does a jump. Now I've got to do something back. Maybe a flap. And I get a red circle. So was that the wrong move? I wonder, do I keep this distracted for as long as that egg's there? Alright. Alright, that's a that's a flap. So it does a jump and then the move. And I have no idea if I did it right then. Okay, that's eating the egg, 100%. Will it not be happy now? Or is it me hides in the nest? Oh my god. Work or what? Oh, nah! Nah! The hell are you meant to do? No! We'll do this again, right. So we'll throw these down. We'll throw down three. See if it sniffs them out. Go around the back so it can't see us. Okay, sneak up, sneak up, sneak up. Right, and we're in. Right, come on then, baby, Giganta Raptor. Let's play the happy dance. And it does a spin. So we'll do a spin. And there we go, 23% timing. Hey! Right, okay. This is how it's done. Figured it out, beautiful. That's a flap. Let's do a flap back. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so have we got to run away now? We've totally got to run away. No, crap, 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 crap. So after it eats an egg, it's going to come back to the nest. Jeez. Right, what's the move? It's a flap, so let's flap. Alright, that gets a 70%. It looks like we get enough time, at least with Bronto eggs, we fertilise Bronto eggs, to get two of these in. A third one would be nice. That's a spin, a spin back at you. Oi, oi, 93%, one more! Alright, that egg's eaten, get out of the nest, 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 get out of the nest. Right, this time we'll back away. Right, it's come to check the nest, which is cool to see who's hiding in my nest. Who's that dirty green afro dude hiding in my nest? And who's gone back to the egg? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I like this timing mechanic. This is fun. Gotta play the flappy game. The mime game. Bow, bow, bow back. And there he is. We've got a rap. Get out to Raptor. Let's go. Right, get, get me out, get me out, get me out. I got, I've got to get this back to base though. Quick, quick dude, quick, 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 come on. So get, I mean, getting this out, that's the rough part. And there we go, we have a tamed baby Gigantoraptor. Woohoo! <laughs> right, we need to get this back, get this imprinted as quick as we can. And it's growing up. Ooh! I noticed we got some timing bonus on it as well. Yeah, these look pretty cool. I wonder if you can breed. And mate pair together. All right, well, we just got to wait for this thing to grow up. And then we're going to check it out. Right then, it's almost raised. Let's give it a name. We will call you 
Big bird. Gotta be done right. Ganto wraps a saddle. Level 69. I like it. The perfect level for any saddle. Weirdly, can't make it in the, the, the replicator. That makes no sense. But hey. <laughs> it is what it is. There he is. I'm getting my frames now. And uh, it's done. Big bird is done and saddled. Oh. For a level 59, health's not too bad. Melee's not too bad. Let's have a look at it then. Oh, this moves. It can jump. Oh, it can glide! Oh, that's nice! Oh, that is nice! Okay, so somehow you can do like a big high jump or you can long jump, but that glide's amazing. That's great. That's its running and jumping abilities. It's got a bite. It's got a a stomp attack. So it does a yeah, it does a stomp attack, a bite attack, and what does C do? Anything? And C does a roar while baby's tracked, and no tamed baby imprint requests to refresh. So hold up a minute. What is it? What is it discovering? So it's tracking all the babies on the map. It's tracking that baby Dilo. I've just killed its parent. No tamed baby imprint requests to refresh. So, can I claim this baby? That's what I want to know. Oh! E imprints on baby Dilo. Oh, that's nice! And then can I pick it up? Can I pick it up? No. I can stomp on it. That's not what I would do. So it's tracking wild babies for me. That's amazing. Look at that. It's tracking all the babies in the area for me to claim. I love that. That's that's pretty cool. Gigantoraptor must be at least level 85 to imprint. Oh. So you have to be the same level as the babies to imprint them. So by me imprinting with this Dilo... It was level five. Following Big Bird. What has that done to this? Has it changed it at all? There's no like maturation levels on it. No, there's no, there doesn't seem to be any mutated levels on it. Also, I noticed the harvesting on this is, is amazing. Look at that. Harvest for days, dude. All right, I can't pick this up like a, a Maywing can. Something I thought I'd be able to do. Imprinting affinity, that's my imprinting affinity digesting so what this is meant to do is give creatures like a bigger buff or something or what all right that's that fully leveled now big bird so now i should be able to where is that where's that over out to gun oh, there it is so i should be able to imprint this over out to now now what i'm curious about right is if let's spyglass this over up to for a second right four it's got 11 points in health 416 and 13 melee. Right, let's claim it now. And that got more health and more melee when claiming. Oh! Is this the bug? Originally, when babies were first introduced into Ark, you were able to Adds taming levels onto any creature, any, any baby that you claimed, but that disappeared. Is that now what this is? When you claim a baby with a Gigantoraptor, you get the taming levels. Making taming babies now worthwhile again. <laughs> Being taken away before. Is that how I'm reading it? I think that's right. But what I'm curious about is, once raised, does this make this any, like, stronger of a creature or, or what? Oh, hang on. In the trailer, it says I can pop you on the Gigantoraptor. Pluck feathers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Add baby to left. Ah, there it is. Nope. Add baby to left saddle. Dilo. Ah, that's how you add them. Okay, it doesn't seem to have some grabability. But you can now pop at least two creatures in your saddles. To fly away on. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, my God. And 
in the bottom left, it says there, level 67 plus resting 01. What does that mean? 00, zero resting 01. Zero, Cannot find any nearby creatures. Oh! I've got to find and kill creatures and I'll get... I'll put levels on this thing. Oh, and then you get a bonding bonus. Oh, so once you've killed enough creatures, you give your raised creature a bonding bonus. There it is. Oh, adopted love. So he gets 10% damage resistance. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice, man. So any raised creature with the Gigantoraptor gets a resistance buff. A plucked feather from a Gigantoraptor, it gives a baby a 56.74% chance to inherit the higher weight stat from its parents. Can I feed it to you? Who's the, who's the, who's the good one? Who's the raised one? It's you, innit? Can I, can I feed it to you? It gives a baby a 56.74% chance to inherit the higher weight stat from its parents. I wonder if you have to feed that to a new baby Gigantoraptor, right? Manage bonded creatures. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, raw! That Ichthyonis entered a world of pain. It seems you can only have so many bonded creatures that I'm guessing if I unbond it, it's going to lose that damage resistance. And does it need to be in range of the, the creature? Okay, so what I'm interested in now is the feather. So we've just tried a few things. I wasn't recording, sadly. And I tried claiming a raised creature with the Gigantoraptor. It won't work, which sucks. Because I've just found out, I just realised... When riding your Gigantoraptor next to its claimed creatures, i.e. is Dilo. Okay, you've still got the damage resistance. But. Upon claiming a baby, it seems. That this thing gets a buff as well. Which it hasn't got any more. So what we're going to do, we're going to claim another baby. There it is. Alright, and claiming this. There we go. Dodo gained an extra nine levels. So, yeah. So that mechanic we got before is now back with Gigantoraptors. But, in claiming it, currently right now, we get nothing. But let's, uh, let's pop the Dodo in its saddle. So you can only hunt... Cannot find any is resting, but will soon want to hunt. Ah, oh, there we go. An icon's popped up to tell me I got stuff around me to hunt. I didn't notice that with the Dilo. There we go. Thirty percent imprint, bonded. So that gives them an imprint. Holy hell! Obviously, my imprint settings are probably affecting it to make this a bit easier. But now this has got a buff called Allo Parent or Pride. Which gives me an extra 10% damage increase and a bit of experience increase. Which seems to change depending on which creature you've got. Probably not the best thing to try out, try out but screw it. Oh, wow. Left click is the damage dealer. Oh, my God. Right, I'm on 23 or 25 now. Dodo just died. Crap. So what's that doing now? 23 or 25? What, what is that? It's a meter that's going down. That's... Oh, that gives me a 46% damage increase. 23% experience. And 10% movement. Holy hell. So you get up to a maximum of 25% damage increase. Uh, let's just check it again. No, up to a maximum of 50% damage increase. So the 23 is representative of the experience that you're getting. I'm falling with style, baby! <laughs> Let's go. Can I claim your baby as a Mama Gigantoraptor? I'm just super curious if that'll work. 
No. Okay, that won't work. Right then, let's see if we can claim this if it's lower level than the Gigantoraptor. Okay, you definitely can't claim raised creatures, which is, to be fair, a bit wild, ain't it, really? Okay, so right, we've got an imprint coming up. I've got the feather in my inventory, but I don't want the feather. What the hell does the feather do? Can only carry baby creatures less or equal to its current level. Oh, hang on a minute. Whilst it can't claim it, can it put it in its saddle? Right, that's the saddle's... ...full. And now... I can, can I get an extra 46 levels? No. Weird that it's only targeting certain things. And maybe I have to go for the targets that it dictates. So the bonding's increasing with Big Bird. And that's you now, fully bonded. It's finished bonding with Big Bird. That one baby allo. Didn't get extra level, extra levels. Why does that say level 34? Interesting, like it's, it's giving me an icon over there, but can I just use this thing here? No, I have to kill what it's telling me to hunt. Because the creature wants to hunt certain other creatures. Mate, that foot attack's amazing. Right, there we go. So it's got bonded plus imprint now. These two aloes. My Gigantoraptor's got those cool buffs. The damage increase and, in and experience increase. But these have got a 30% imprint bonus. So I'm getting an imprint bonus on anything it raises. And... Giving it the damage resistance buff to anything you raise. Making this totally worthwhile for raising creatures. You're buffing them to be better creatures. As long as they're linked to your Gigantoraptor. Where is it? Manage bonded creatures. As long as they're within here. So I'm guessing if I go to the Dilos that I bonded with. Let's go. There we go. The, the buff's gone. The buff's gone. That makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Because they're unbonded. So you have to make sure you've got your creatures constantly bonded with this to get that extra damage, which is 10%, which ain't bad. I mean, 10% damage resistance is still 10% damage resistance. That's a lot. What I want to know now, one last thing, is this blowing feather. What do you do with a feather? Oh, look at that. <laughs> the first person perspective is amazing. Maybe, because it's not a consumable, what if it's used upon an egg dropping? And just see what happens. Let's put it in the mom. And I'll keep the health on me. And let's see if anything gets consumed when the egg pops out. Okay. Eggs dropped. Pick up egg. They, the mom consumes the feather. There we go. Figured it out. And now I've got a higher chance of inheriting the white stat. Which makes sense, right? Because it can't be a consumable. It's done during the maturation process upon the egg laying. But the feather needs to be in the parents, allowing you an easier time in passing over stats. Which also means for mutations. Oh, that's amazing. That means breeding mutations is going to get a heck of a lot easier if that's the case. Let's just see one more time. So the egg from these two UTs. Damn. Eggs hatched. And there we go. There it is. It consumes a feather. It's dropped the egg. Wow. Breeding is going to get a lot more easier. A lot more fun with this thing. Big birds. I like it. It's a cool addition. It's a great addition. Just a shame it wasn't on the center right. But hey ho! <laughs> there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. My name is Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, up. Peace out. Ciao.